I honestly never know if I'm in focus because my eyes are so bad. Just everything is blurry. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do another tag video. Today's tag video is the Me Time tag, and I was actually tagged to do this video by my friend Amy over at How Amy Sees. I am going to link her video down below. Make sure you check her out. She's super, super awesome, so please just go check her out. Subscribe if you like her, which I'm sure you will. This tag was created by SC Button and Amelia, and I will make sure to link their original video down below. This tag is basically just about me. So things that you like to do when you're having your me time. Me time. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. There will be no actual jumping. You know how it is. What do you watch or read during me time? Now, what I watch, typically I watch everything. Um, honestly, like I've got pretty much two categories of shows that I really watch like on a regular basis. The first category being trashy reality TV shows, Real Housewives of whatever, I don't care. I love it. And I also like to watch things like America's Next Top Model and stuff like that. It's just like mindless entertainment and there's so much drama, like so much drama, especially in Real Housewives. So much drama. And I can't get enough. I don't have any real drama in my life, so I need to, you know, substitute that with TV drama, I guess. And then the other category of TV that I really enjoy is sitcom, comedy type shows, and my favorites are New Girl, The Mindy Project, Modern Family, The Office, Parks and Rec, stuff like that. So that's typically what I watch, and Happy Endings is another one, and Community. Oh my god. Anyways, there's so many, I can't list them all, but I've literally watched The Mindy Project start to finish four times in a row. That's how crazy I am. I've also seen every episode of The Office at least 10 times. I've seen every episode of the of New Girl at least 10 times. I like to re-watch these shows because I know that I like them. I, no matter how many times I watch them, I still laugh, I still think they're funny. So if I'm just laying in bed or I'm sitting and watching something by myself, that's 100% what I'm watching because Jeff won't watch a lot of that stuff with me. Now as for reading, what I read in me time is whatever the heck I want to read. You guys know, hopefully, that I love reading. Like I read pretty much anything. I don't care what the genre is, but if I am looking at just kind of sitting and relaxing and having like an easy read, then I will reach for something that's more chiclet related. Contemporary books are my jam for that because I just like zoom right through them. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So. I, I guess if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick contemporary books for me time, even though every time I read, it's it's me time, so I read everything. The next question is, what do you wear during me time? I, I mean, you won't notice by today, I'm actually wearing like real clothes today because I had meetings, but typically I do work from home most days unless I have meetings, and so that means that I am in sweats or yoga pants or leggings every single day, all day, and that is honestly like, I hate wearing real clothes like I hate it I am not one of those girls who enjoys like dressing up and wearing fancy clothes all day long like that sounds miserable to me I want to be comfortable I want to wear my sweats and my yoga pants and it is what it is so if I'm having any kind of me time I am having time in my sweatpants and my hoodie or my sweatsuit hashtag sweatsuit ask Jeff it's all I wear he must think I'm super sexy. What are your me time beauty products? So I actually really enjoy the process of like putting on my makeup and doing my nails and all of that stuff. Even if I'm not going anywhere, I really enjoy just sitting down and doing everything. But if I had to pick one thing, my me time beauty product is 100% nail polish. I change my nail polish every single day. I love painting my nails and a lot of people think that's really weird because you know it's it can be a hassle but I honestly like I love it it's therapeutic for me I just sit there and I take my old nail polish off and I will put my new polish on and then I admire it for a while I take some pictures of it that's my time like if Jeff is trying to talk to me or anything like that when I'm painting my nails like good luck to you sir because I'm not listening your current favorite nail polish I my current favorite nail polishes. Oh, that's a really hard question. Merp. 
I have recently discovered the magic that is indie polish so I'm gonna have to go with just a whole brand in general and that's dollish polish I've recently got I think like nine of her polishes or something like that and I love every single one of them I think they're amazing she has something for everyone and all different occasions and all different really unique polishes so I absolutely love dollish polish and if I had to pick one that I've gotten from her so far, I'm going to have to pick. You know what, I'm gonna go with Look at the Flowers Lizzie, which is a Walking Dead inspired nail polish. If you have not seen Walking Dead, then you won't understand why this is so effed up, but seriously, this polish is called Look at the Flowers Lizzie. It's sadistic, it's amazing, and it's just a really cool, unique color that I have nothing else like it, so I love it. Next question is, what do you eat slash drink during me time? I, my favorite kind of food to eat during me time is definitely cookies or cake or some kind of sweets or baked goods. I have probably the largest sweet tooth of anyone you will ever meet. I, it's actually impressive how much sugar I can put into this body. I eat it all day long and I love it and it's so bad, I know that, but I don't care because I just, I love it. I love it so much. So probably let's go with like cookies or or you know donuts or something like that and for drinks I'm a huge coffee and tea drinker I love both coffee and tea I don't discriminate but if it's in the morning I'll go for a coffee and then if it is at nighttime I always have tea at night and I'll have anything from green tea to like a white tea or I have a lot of tea vanna teas that are like specialty teas and my all-time favorite tea is just your classic English breakfast it's delicious it's always a good time for English breakfast tea, in my opinion. I should probably live in England. I love me some tea. Current favorite candle. My current favorite candle is actually burning right behind me and it's the Harvest Gathering candle. It's just a very fall appropriate candle. It's a very warm smell, very cozy. And I, it also has, I pick it up and show it to you, but it's hot. I don't want to pick it up. It's almost like, you know, their scents like leaves and stuff like that. It's just a very fall time cozy scent and it's super appropriate for this time of year. I absolutely love it. And then my other favorite candles, like always, any coffee scented candle. So right now they have like espresso something at Bath and Body Works. Uh, last year it was Winter Cafe and they also had the regular espresso candles before. I love those. I love burning them in the kitchen. I think they're amazing. So good. So those are definitely some of my favorites as well. Do you ever have outdoor me time? And I definitely do. And whenever I have outdoor me time, it's always with my dog, Kaya. So every time that I have outdoor me time, it's with this little lady right here. Can you sit? That's a good girl. Yes, Kai and I like to go to the dog park. The dog park. I can't say it too loud because she'll actually get really excited and want to go. I try to take Kai to the dog park like a few times a week, at least three times a week, and it's honestly like it's so good for her because she gets to be outside and playing with other dogs and she has the best time ever, don't you? And I really like it and I, you know, sometimes it's kind of like a social thing but most of the time I just like sit on the bench and I watch her and I thoroughly enjoy just sitting there watching her run around and play. And there's also some trails and stuff so if I take her out for a walk, um, thank you. I love walking so if I'm outside and going for a walk then that's always me time because typically I go by myself. I don't ever really go with Jeff or anything like that. And I, I still consider my time with Kaya to be me time because, I mean, I'm the only person so it kind of counts. Kaya, do you want, do you want to go to the dog park? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh-oh, I shouldn't have said that. Bye. Whoops. Oh God, she's going crazy. What are you doing? We can't go. It's too, it's dark outside. Shouldn't have said anything. Would you ever go to a movie alone? And the answer to this is definitely yes. I've actually, ugh, I've actually gone to quite a few movies by myself. I used to work at the movie theater, so I used to always, Kai, your face is like taking up the whole camera right now. I used to work at the theater. I used to go watch movies on my lunch break because we actually got free movies as part of our employee perks when I was in high school. And even now, like, I don't think it's weird to go to a movie by yourself. I love watching movies by myself because it really lets you concentrate on what's happening and focus without anybody kind of like yakking at you or interrupting. Loser status. Your favorite online shop? And I don't think this is a fair question because 
all of them are my favorite. Probably ones that I actually order from the most would be Nail Polish Canada, as well as now Dollish Polish, which I've ordered off a few times. Also love looking at the Lush store online. I love looking at Hope Look. And the other big one for me is Etsy. I'm on Etsy literally all the time just browsing and seeing what's there because you can get so many different like unique and cool things on Etsy. So I spend pretty much all of my time just shopping around on Etsy. And chapters and book outlet. Okay, moving on. And the last question is anything to add slash what else do you do for me time? I don't know, honestly, like I said, I work at home so I do, I spend a lot of time home by myself. So I, I get a lot of me time. I, I like my me time, I like the quiet and I like being able to dance around the house and sing to Taylor Swift and listen to my audiobooks and play with the animals and not have to worry about anything else besides just being there and being present. And I also spend a lot of time with Albie for me time, don't we? That's us time. And another thing that I really like to do during me time is bake. Like, I love baking. I love the whole process. I love, I just love everything about it. And I typically only bake when I'm home alone. I don't know why, or if Jeff is like downstairs playing video games, but I bake by myself. Sometimes people ask if they, if I want to get together and like bake something and I always do, but I, I can feel myself taking control every single time just because I feel like it's such a me thing. Like I really enjoy doing that by myself. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm going to go ahead and tag a few people. I am going to tag Beth from Beth June 327 I'm also going to tag Heather from Bookables. I'm going to tag Karina Kaboom. I am going to tag Miss Holly Berries, I am going to tag Price is Wong, and I'm also going to tag Cassidy Vanche. So I'm tagging some people both from the beauty community as well as the booktube community because I think that this is just one of those tags that everyone can do. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!